Let's get to tax reform. The Senate could begin the debate on the tax bill as early as today, and there is a chance that the vote could once again come down to John McCain. Joining us now, Senator John Thune. First of all, Senator, would you give us the timetable here? Uh, procedural motions start today, and then it's on from there. Tell us about it, please. Right. What we have to do, Stuart, is get on the bill first off, and that takes a, a vote, an affirmative vote. Uh, and then we will have, uh, under the reconciliation procedure, which is the procedure we're using here in the Senate to pass the bill, 20 hours of debate. At the end of the 20 hours, there is a process called Votorama, where any uh, senator who wants to can offer an amendment and get it voted on. And that will run probably into the wee hours of the morning, I would guess, uh, Friday morning. Uh, but eventually, I think people will, uh, it'll play out and we'll get to a final vote. And my hope is we'll have the votes to pass tax reform, uh, conference with the House of Representatives and put a bill on the president's desk that brings needed uh, tax relief to middle-income families and gets our economy growing at a faster rate. This first vote, I know it's a procedural motion, but the very first vote, that's very important, isn't it? Because I don't think the Republicans would call for a vote unless they were pretty sure they've got the 50-51 that they need. Am I correct? That's, yeah, it is. This is a critical vote. We have to get on the bill. That takes 51, which means, of course, that we have, or 50, plus the vice president. But it means that we have to have all of our, uh, you know, members on the, on the team as we move forward. Yeah. And there have been a lot of conversations in the last day or two with individual members trying to get them to, the, get them to yes. But um, I hope when we proceed that we'll have the votes. And then at the end of the process, we'll have the votes to sure. pass the bill. This is good stuff. I have to ask you about Senator McCain. It could come down to him in this first vote, couldn't it? Well, Senator McCain is, uh, has, is sort of a stickler for process. He wants us to follow regular order. We've done that at the fi Finance Committee markup uh, a week ago. Uh, we disposed of, voted on almost 70 Democrat amendments. So everybody's had a chance to have their voices heard in the process. We had, of course, since I've been on the Finance Committee, 70-plus uh, hearings on tax reform. This is a process that's been going on for a long time, and uh, we're going to have an open process on the floor that's very transparent where people can well, offer amendments and get votes. So hopefully that'll be enough to get Senator McCain on board. Senator, I know that he is your, maybe your friend and colleague. I don't know about friendship, but he's certainly your colleague in the Senate. As of now, can you, do you think it's possible that John McCain would kill tax cuts? I hope that isn't the case. I think on the merits of this bill, Stuart, if you look at it, what it does for middle-income families, what it can do for our economy by lessening the tax burden on businesses and making America an attractive place to invest and create those better-paying jobs and lift those wages around the country that have been stagnant for so many years, there, there, uh, there are a lot of benefits in this bill for all Americans. And I hope that Senator McCain and all of our senators will recognize that and realize that we need to get this across the finish line, put a bill on the president's desk that will bring uh, much-needed relief to middle-income families, allow them to keep more of what they earn, but uh, just as importantly, get this economy growing at a faster rate. We're in a good place right now. We've had a couple of good quarters. We need to build on that. Um, once you've got the 50 votes, or 51, and they've been tallied, is it not then likely, certainly possible, that some Democrats come over? They wouldn't be the deciders who said, yes, we're going to have tax cuts, but they would be those who join in after you've got the majority. I'm thinking Claire McCaskill, for example, from Missouri. The president travels to Missouri today. Possible that some Democrats will come over to your side? I think that's possible, Stuart, but you're right. We have to demonstrate that we can deliver the votes. They're not yep. going to, no Democrat's going to give no. us vote number 50. <laughs> no, they might nobody. give us vote 52 or 53, but yes. I, I think that's possible. Okay. There, there's good stuff in this bill for every state. And then it would be bipartisan, which would be a very big deal. It would be a big deal. Senator Thune, I know you're very busy, and we do appreciate you taking time out to be with us today. You've helped us enormously over the months, and we're talking about tax cuts, and we do appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Stuart. Always nice to be with you. Yes, sir. Thanks.